We're talking about graduate teachers because it's been almost 24 hours of picketing the uh, Ministry of Education. The angry and frustrated teachers who say they are yet to be posted spent the night at the ministry in order to get their postings. Prior to that, they must up at the premises of the multimedia group to express their frustration over delayed posting. We'll soon be joined in the studio by Head of Public Relations at the Ministry of Education, Vincent Eko Asifwa, to respond to the issues raised by these teachers. But in an interview with Joy News earlier, the conveners of the group said they have met all requirements uh, to merit posting, but are yet to get any notification from the authorities. Let's hear the leaders of the group. Our postings have been released way back 21st of November, November 2019. Our colleagues who have met the requirement that GS used to post us are going to their schools, going to teach, but we have also met the same requirement, but we are staying home. We did our various uh, exercise to go to the various GES regional offices. They collected our names. That is, they've, they let us fill template. So we thought that those who were not posted, our names, our details are with GES. Up to now, the postings haven't come. So we decided to come to the headquarters, that is Accra, today, with our mindset that we want nothing but our postings because we have waited for long. As we decided to sleep there. You can see that our luggages are here. We went to see the committee who is responsible to address us. The first, the first person told us that uh, they are on it and financial clearance hasn't come for us to, uh, to be posted. And another part, committee, the same com uh, another committee, we went to another committee and they also told us that it is the fault of NTC. NTC delayed the, sh uh, the list of confirmed people that are to be uh, shortlisted to GS for postings. We also went further to uh, the Ministry of Education. We decided to talk to the PRO and we said, he said that where the PRO is not responsible to address our issues, that we should go to GES. So we have had enough with all these varieties of information that they are giving us. They are just tossing us in and out and that's what we don't like. If you will not post this, tell us that you will not post this, so that we will stop spending transportation fee to the headquarters. Head of Public Relations at the Ministry of Education, Vincent Ako Asifwa, joins me in the studio. We want to find out from him why these teachers have not been posted. Vincent, you're welcome. Thank you. Do tell us why. Let me say a very good um, afternoon to the uh, cherished viewers. Um, let me state that since 2017, and if I have to take my time to break it down, the number of GES staff that we have been able to recruit, it's about 33,000. Now, in 2018, we were able to also recruit about 8,817. And this includes um, the double track teachers that we were able to recruit when we were starting a double track. Mm. Now, in 2019, we were also able to recruit about 23,000. So, you know, since 2017 till now, the number of teachers that the Ghana Education Service have been able to recruit is about 66,000. This year, let me say last year, mm -hmm. Um, we had clearance from the Ministry of Finance to be able to engage the services of colleges of education, um, students or people who completed the College of Education in 2018. And that is a clearance that we had from the Ministry of Finance. For those who graduated in 2018? Absolutely. Anybody who falls outside this particular scope cannot be engaged because I had already said that we cannot engage you without a financial clearance. Mm. Giving you an appointment letter or recruiting you may not be enough. When you are recruited or when you are appointed, within the next three months you are expecting your salary. So the Ghana Education Service procedurally, as we have always been doing, especially from 2017, cannot engage you. We've seen that some of the students who are picketing at the Ghana Education Service mm -hmm. are students who, <coughs> first and foremost, did not complete <coughs> in 2018 quite a few of them. There are quite a number of them too who also um, are sandwich students, uh, some of them um, who also went to the university and they are expecting that they are supposed to be um, recruited. There are some of them too who um, we feel that they were not able to pass 
the NTC examination. So when you um, do the assessment, mm -hmm. when the um, data is given to the Ghana Education Service, we also go back to the NTC to find out those who applied and whether they were able to um, make up the points that they were supposed to make at the NTC. And there are some of them that um, they also had that challenge. Apart from that, about three weeks ago, mm -hmm. the Ghana Education Service, through its HR, um, sent a message out there that if you completed in 2018 and you also applied, as of right, you are supposed to be recruited because we have a financial clearance for you. Mm -hmm. But you are supposed to do that by applying or if you like sending you all your information to the Ghana Education Service at the regional level. Then the region will also collate all of them and send it to the national headquarters. Mm -hmm. Then we will do the auditing and know that indeed you applied and also you also passed for the NTC. So if you have this challenge, of course, then it means that you will not be recruited. But in no time, those who were able to apply to the regional office will be given the opportunity to be engaged at the Ghana Education Service level. At this point, we've seen all of these students, you know, mass up at the uh, Education Ministry. Ha have they had the benefit of all of these explanations? And have you been able to screen each of them to find out which of them falls within which each of the categories you've just outlined? Well, we need to give out a clear message out to the people. Okay. The clear message is when we have told them that go back to your region, if indeed you fall into the category of completing in 2018. Mm. There are some of them who never completed in 2018. There are some of them who completed in 2018 yet, or let me say, because they were not able to finish or complete in 2017, they had some trails or they had some problems mm. with their education. Some of them deferred and all that. But because they think that they completed in 2018, they are part of those people. No, they are not. Because your index number alone will expose you. Mm. Because if you're having an index number that ends with 2017, of course, it means that you're not part of the financial clearance that we had from the Ministry of Finance. So what we are supposed to be doing, which I think we have been doing, especially at the Ghana education level, is to give them that message that the Ghana Education Service Headquarters will not be able to engage you now. The only way that you can be engaged is when you go to your regional office mm -hmm. and give all your documents to them there, then we will do the final auditing at the headquarters. And we have to make sure that the auditing will include your NTC results, whether you passed or otherwise. If the answer is to the latter, then it means that you cannot be engaged. Okay, I'm hoping that you've been able to explain this to them because they spend the night at the ministry. What are you going to do with them now? Well, I understand the frustration, especially because they've seen their colleagues um, being recruited or being engaged, mm. and they feel that, um, of course, they're also Ghanaians. They also have um, the right, or if you like, the, 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 the they opportunity, they of course, but um, um, the processes will also have to be followed. Uh, we live in a country where laws and regulations are also very important, so if Procedurally, what we've gotten from the Ministry of Finance is to be able to engage only 2018 mm. finalists. The Ministry of Education or the Ghana Education Service cannot do anything about it. The so let's come back to that the position of the Ministry of Finance that just allows you to recruit those who mm. um, completed in 2018. <coughs> What happens to those who completed in 2016, 2017, who are still at home? What's, go what's going to happen to well, them? I don't know whether I'm able to speak for the Ministry of Finance. Uh, maybe no, but you, you, you speak for the Ministry of Education. The Ministry of Education should be, should be able to explain what happens to those who have not had the, the financial the, the, clearance. The, the Ghana Education Service, at every point in time, has spaces that are supposed to be filled. If the Ghana Education Service will have that opportunity mm -hmm. whereby... Uh, let me say a million teachers will be recruited because we still have space, especially in the villages. And that is why this time the number of teachers that we recruited, most of them were sent to um, the village because that's where the spaces are created. So let, uh, left to us, mm -hmm. we will be able to engage a lot of them. But you need to engage with resources. Mm -hmm. If the state says that within this three months or four months, I am able to give you financial clearance for, say, 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that the Ghana Education Service or the Ministry of Education can do about that. Why, why, why was the focus on those who completed in 2018? Any special reason? <laughs> because uh, as, part of, as part of the engagements that we had with the um, TAC, that's the leadership of TAC and um, the students themselves, students who complete College of Education as of right are supposed to be engaged by the Ghana Education Service. If 
you are able to fulfill the statutory mandate of having your national service and also completing your um, national teaching council examination that is a license examination mm -hmm. so as of right if you have been able to uh, able to fulfill these things then of course we are supposed to um, engage you so that is I'm why i'm not sure i'm not sure if that answers the question i think the question is why 2018 why the special attention to those who completed in 2018 when there are people who completed earlier who are still not engaged well so the, the point is that there was an opportunity for you to be able to be engaged in 2017. Mm -hmm. we, we don't think that is the fault of the Ghana Education Service not for you to have been recruited in 2017. We're, we're not looking at fault here, Vincent. Hang on, hang on. Let, let's just, let, can we just start this over mm -hmm. again? We're not looking at fault. Mm -hmm. We're looking at how the, the mass of unemployed mm -hmm. teachers yes. will have employment. You just explained to us why those, for example, who are picketing at the ministry cannot be engaged, why yes. some of them cannot be engaged, because they fall outside a certain category given you by the Ministry of uh, Finance. Yes. And I'm asking, what went into the choice of the Ministry of Finances, uh, Finance uh, of 2018 graduates? Mm -hmm. And what happens to those who have also graduated earlier, who also, as of right, ought to be uh, employed who have not been employed. Yeah, simple answer. Categories of engagement. Um, at this particular time or at that particular time, the people that were supposed to be engaged as of right were just the automatic postings that we did in 2018. We did automatic posting in 2017. Um, same thing was done in 2016. There are opportunities whereby limited recruitment are done. For example, in 2018 when we were implementing the double track system. Mm -hmm. Remember we opened for limited recruitment to be done where um, anybody who applied or anybody who qualified to be apply, um, to be applying to the Ghana Education Service will apply to the Ghana Education Service. Then, if you qualify, then you'll be engaged. So what you were doing last year was just automatic postings. Mm. After completing your College of Education, it is the responsibility or the owners falls on the Ghana Education Service or if like the Ministry of Education to be able to engage you. So it was not um, let me say recruitment per se, whereby those who completed in two, 2016 and um, 17 were supposed to be mm. um, considered. But as of right, those who completed in 2018, automatic progression, they were, they were supposed to be engaged in the Ghana education. I have service. a message here um, uh, from Seth in Kumasi. Seth said, uh, we are really bleeding on this issue as a newly trained teacher. I have passed all my necessary exams, satisfied but not posted, certified but not posted. We have over 1,000 students. We are over 1,000 students. Our mates who got posted are now in the school teaching. Please help us get posted. We are really suffering. He says those picketing are all 2018 students with our certificates intact. That is why we gave the um, signal, the message out there that those who completed in 2018 should go back to the regional office because we know that indeed there were some of them that who completed in 2018 that mm. they were not able to engage and as of right as i've already said they are supposed to be engaged so when you go to your regional office and that indication was given about three weeks ago mm. and by next week you'll be able to collate all the data from the regional offices so that we can engage all of them so i don't think that there's so much of a problem okay so it's just a matter of time absolutely and that's what next week you said next week we will collate all of them you should be able to engage them okay by next week well yeah. hopefully if you're listening and you are any of those who pick it this works for you hopefully it does i still have two key issues that i, I, I want to engage you on mm. we have just about two minutes to wrap up this one says uh, from mampong uh, Francis is a teacher in Mampo. He says, to please ask the PRO about the latest update on teachers' legacy arrears. Someone actually <laughs> sent one where he said that I should yeah. ask you what, when, when you said here on this platform that the payments will be made by 19th, I think, of December last year. Yeah. Uh, last year. Yes, um, I think that the engagement are uh, <coughs> ongoing at the level of the Control and Accountant General Department and the uh, Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. And uh, okay. of course, uh, dates were given, uh, but I know that um, efforts are put in place to be able to ensure that I mean monies that are owed teachers um, legally are given to them. So let me send a signal to my brother that there shouldn't be so much of a problem. Uh, I think that it is just a matter of delaying at the appropriate time and they will be paid in no time. Hmm. You actually not answered the question. I've answered. You said uh, no, uh, they will be paid in no time. Yes. And they said because I had already given a date. Exactly. And probably it failed. 
Yeah, so, so you don't want to give uh, another date. So on this platform, I have to speak to my superiors before I will be able to give a date because I have not spoken to CAGD about it. I have not spoken to Fair Wages about it. Okay, I get you. I get you. All right. Um, I really wish that we could go on, but this person is texting from, um, I think he doesn't indicate it, uh, from Odobing, Sukuma Odobing, Brakwa District, Gabriel. He says, I think he has a school. He says he needed five teachers in his school. He only received one. So it's as if there are teachers, there are private schools that need to engage teachers. They, uh, I'm not sure if this is a private school, but he says he only got five, uh, one when he needed five. Of course, there, what's, can, what the government can never post a teacher to a private school. Um, okay. However, if it's a public school, what it mm. means is that the teachers that we were able to engage, um, because the number are not enough, mm. what it means is that we will have to post them as and when we have the teachers. So I indi initially indicated to you that left to us, you will engage quite a number of them. We know that we have a lot of teachers in the house right now hmm. uh, waiting for recruitment or engagement of yeah. course because of resources uh, we cannot engage all of them at the same time um, however since 2017 up to now Ghana Education Service have been able to recruit 66,000 teachers. Mm. And hey, I, I like, that, I like I the way you want to emphasize on the I figure. Think, I think that, because I think it works that for Ghana you. Ghana Education Service have been able to do Well, it works for you. But for the yeah. teachers who are at home, for those who are picketing and sleeping rough at your uh, offices, this certainly doesn't cut it. But let's well, move on we, because we've we run out of time. already them a signal what to do. I hope so. It, I yeah. hope it works. Next week we'll be here <laughs> to do the updates. But but quickly before you go, uh, Vincent, we just did a story. We just did a story about Tutag and Tusag strike. <coughs> uh, technical uh, technical universities uh, university uh, students are really. Uh, not enthused about what's happening. Mm. They've been calling on government several times. Their teachers are not working. Administrators are not working. What's the education for, ministry's for, response for, for to For once, that? I would expect that the media would do this job for the Ministry of Education. You know why? There have been lack of cooperation on the part of TUTAC and TUSAC. And I'll tell you why. There was a National Labor Commission ruling, and that ruling indicated that government is supposed to be paying or government by 19th of December must have been able to pay mm -hmm. all these teachers who are old. Now I always ask the question and I don't I don't think that you you will not agree with me on that. Which state institution will pay in a vacuum? This afternoon, they said, especially that Accra Technical University, uh, uh, um, <coughs> Dr. Zuberi said that all the documents that the NTC, that the NTC uh, asked for, they provided no, all of those documents. They only provided for officers who were holding, uh, who are holding positions in the various technical universities. For other staff, they failed to do it. So at least, have you paid the officers, the, oh, the ones whose documents paid them. you paid? Yes, it is left with the other officers, or let me say the other staff, which they are supposed to be providing the additional data to the National Commission for Tertiary Education. But from what I'm hearing, um, the two tag and two sack feels that the National Commission for Tertiary Education shouldn't come in at this level. Um, they feel that the ruling should just be adhered to and payment should just be done. But payment will have to be done whereby NCT is having a statutory ob obligation to ensure that the data that is provided by the teachers are vetted, they are audited, they are validated, so that we know that the right amounts are paid. Government cannot overpay or underpay people that who are supposed to be paid as far as these um, areas and allowances are concerned. So there's lack of so cooperation you're still on the part auditing. of TUTAC. No? Th there's lack of cooperation on the part of TUTAC, you see, said. But are see, you still auditing the, the documents they presented? Holders, when they supply their data, they supply them somewhere around 20 December. Hmm. By 23 December, three days, we had been able to finish auditing and validating and send to the Controller Accountant General Department So what's for holding payment. you back now? No, I'm saying that when the data comes to NCT, then we will validate. And this is something that we can use just about three or four days to do and pay them. Why are they refusing to submit this data to the NCT for validation? That is the question that I'm asking because we can't pay in vacuum. And of course, NCT or Ministry of Education cannot pay them. It is the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission and the Controller Accountant General Department who are supposed to be paying them. What's the we way are forward? supposed to be, well, I, I think that we have to admonish uh, the leadership of TUTAC to be able to supply the NCT with the necessary data so that it will be vetted. And all what submission will be made to 
controller accountant general department before payment could be made. In the absence of this, there's nothing or little that the NCT or the Ministry of Education could do. Okay. Uh, the owners lies on the Twitter to be able to ensure that they do what is right so that we will be able to pay them. Vincent, thank you very much for coming. Most welcome. Vincent, as a father, he speaks for the Education Ministry, and I really, really sincerely hope that every issue that you have, you know, some way, somehow, have been addressed. There's so many issues as far as education is concerned that we can't touch on it uh, through and through, but hopefully this has.